And all of that thinking power is available to us in that innate mind if we know how to tap into it. Welcome to AMC. I'm Dr. Greg Miller. Did you know that you only use 10% of your brain's computing power for conscious thought? Today, Dr. Bill Kriva is going to discuss your innate intelligence and how to tap into it. I think his story of a leaky faucet is a great example of how it can help. If this video is useful for you, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Dr. Bill Kriva, and I am a coach and an instructor with AMC. And I wanted to spend a few minutes today with you digging into a subject that is at the very core of what we are and what we do as chiropractors, but also can be very, very powerful in helping to accomplish the goals and the dreams that you have for your life. I want to talk a little bit about the difference between educated mind and innate intelligence. Um, I think you probably, if you've done any reading from the writings of B.J. Palmer, know that uh, he had some significant disdain for the educated mind and the reliance that we put on educated mind as human beings. If you look at the brain for a second, the science that we're now learning is that there are about 200 billion individual neurons in the brain. 200 billion, let that sink in for a second. And those 200 billion neurons can have up to 10,000 different connections with other neurons. Stop and think about that for a minute. The number of different connections and different types of interactions that may take place inside the brain. And we now know that the human brain, encased in this little space right here, has approximately three orders of magnitude more computing power than the biggest, fastest supercomputer that's ever been made. Think about that. Three orders of magnitude of computing power. Now, here's where the rub comes in uh, and where Dr. Palmer had some concerns in that the thinking brain, the part that we use for conscious thought, is only about 10% of that computing power. About 90% of that computing power lies below the level of the educated mind, the thinking brain, in the subconscious mind or the subconscious brain. And all of that thinking power is available to us in that innate mind if we know how to tap into it. The problem is we, as human beings, put a lot of reliance on the thinking brain on the educated mind, the things that we learn from books and things that we learn in school. And we tend to rely on our own thought processes to help us solve problems and to help us figure out where we're going to go, what direction we're going to go in life and what we're going to do in practice. And we use just that little teeny 10% of that computing power in the thinking brain. And that's why Dr. Palmer had some disdain for it. And more to the point, the thinking brain has the ability to get in the way of innate inspiration and the ability to tap into innate intelligence uh, and use it as a guide as, as we go through life. So what the key here is then is if you want to be able to tap into the rest of that thinking capability, it's time then to turn to that innate mind. It's time to start tapping into that innate mind in order to get inspiration. One of the things that I have found to be extremely helpful um, down through the years is something that we teach in AMC called quiet time. It is in that quiet time when we have no distractions, there's nothing going on around us, that we can get all of the background noise out of the way. I know when I've taught about this in the past and in, in my, my first book too, I talk about how we had a power outage at one point in time in the middle of the winter in our house. And all the background noise went away. It was dark outside, all the lights are off, the TV set is off, the stereo is off, the kids are playing upstairs. And all of a sudden with that silence in the background, I get here drip, drip, drip. And that was the faucet in the kitchen dripping. And I'm sure it had been dripping for a long time, but in a household full of noisy kids and commotion going on and all that background noise, I'd never heard it. 
Same thing with innate inspiration. You've got to get the background noise out of the way. And if you get the background noise out of the way, then you have an opportunity to actually listen to the inspiration that comes from the innate mind. And suddenly flashes will start to pop into the thinking brain. And when you get these flashes, many times they're answers to questions or they're answers to problems that you're dealing with or things like that. And you definitely want to write these things down because they go into the thinking brain. If you don't capture that right away, they can disappear forever and uh, you never get them back. You have the greatest idea in history and two minutes later, you can't remember what it is and you can't get it back. So being able to tap into that innate mind is really, really critical. Think about the power that you have there that's available to you if you put a demand on it and if you then sit quietly and allow that innate mind to give you the inspiration to help you on your path. Um, this is the first of a, of a couple of videos that I'm gonna do on this because the next thing that we're gonna talk about is how do you tap into innate intelligence to help you with your goal setting? Because one of the things that I know is that a lot of docs have difficulties um, with goal setting. A lot of docs don't do goals for a variety of different reasons. And one of the big reasons why goals don't manifest is because we're using the thinking brain. And that's a problem. So stay tuned. There will be another video coming up on goal setting using the innate mind. But I hope sincerely that um, you've got something out of this presentation. And I hope that you will get that 20, 30 minutes of quiet time into your schedule every day and learn to listen for that small quiet voice because that small quiet voice can change your life hope this helps and i'll talk to you soon join us at our next training weekend january 27th through 29th if you're new to amc and would like a free guest pass to three days of material like this text us at 904-966-4996 amc is your guide to becoming respected, effective, and valued in practice.